Kia everyone. Only four sleeps to go. And then on Friday, the Rugby World Cup will kick off with an opening ceremony at Eden Park, followed by the All Blacks playing Tonga. Tonga, of course, are outside. As of the last time the All Blacks played them, the score was 91-7. But the Tongan supporters, who swamped Auckland Airport this afternoon, causing gridlock on the surrounding roads, making so much noise they drowned out the planes landing just 100 metres away, well... They back their boys with a passion. Those of us who support more successful teams can perhaps learn something from. They're in a pool with the All Blacks, France and Japan. Qualif qualification into the quarterfinals would be a triumph, if not almost a miracle. But you try telling that to their fans. <laughs> it was as if they'd won the cup and were returning with it triumphantly to Tonga itself. But no, this is Auckland, four days before Tonga's first game. And they're ranked 12th, and the team they're playing is ranked number one. No matter, these are the happy days when anything is still possible. Look at this reception. Look at this. This is really why the World Cup is so fantastic. <laughs> They had descended on the airport from throughout Auckland, the biggest convoy driving up Massey Road from the south. Flags, kids, horns and screams of hope. Go Tonga! Of course, most of them are Kiwis. There are over 70,000 Tongans in New Zealand. And they'd support the All Blacks were they playing any other team except, you guessed it, At the airport, who knows how many there were? 3,000, 4,000, more? A sea of red and white and brown. A majority of them women, for reasons that may become obvious when you see the team. Many dancing to something felt almost, rather than heard. This is Tonga's time. Like Samoa, their neighbours in the Pacific and in Auckland, the Rugby World Cup is when two countries who've done so much for New Zealand rugby actually get to play here. What team do you support? Tonga! In their entire history, the All Blacks have only played Tonga three times. It seems incredible that the All Blacks have played Canada more often than Tonga. No wonder the World Cup matters so much to their supporters. Hello. This is the front of the queue. And these people have been waiting for hours. Two, three, four hours. Up the front for their team to arrive. We wait together, wildly. Why don't all black supporters behave like this? Our team might be ranked number one, but the Tongan and Samoan supporters can teach the rest of us a thing or two. Call them loyal. And finally... Ladies and gentlemen, here come the Tongan rugby team. And watch this. The team themselves seem taken aback, almost stunned at first, and who wouldn't be? Most play in Europe, France, England, Wales, even Italy, but many of these men had Kiwi childhoods like their redoubtable skipper. When you arrive to that kind of welcome, it must feel like you're playing at home almost. Definitely, yeah, I think um, 
for myself, I know for myself and, and, and most of the boys, we grew up here and it's like just coming back, it's another Tonga, so um, we're just looking forward to it. Looking forward to Friday night? Exactly, and uh, hopefully uh, come out on top. <laughs> Family and friends crowd the front row. Reunions occur all over the place. They are Tongan, but some are home too, both at once, and they bring a message for their fans. What did you think of that welcome? Oh, it's unbelievable, man. Never experienced that, stuff like that before, so, yeah. It must be very moving, because some of these people have been waiting for hours. There, there, there's more Tongans here than back in Nukalofa, so, yeah, all the boys are, are happy. And do you feel fired up? Yeah, we, we just want to play right now, so, yeah. Excited about Friday night against the All Blacks? All the boys are really excited, so, yeah. Get ready to uh, cheer. Go, Tonga! <laughs> We leave the airport slowly. The roads are packed with supporters' cars. It's almost gridlock in places. And supporters line the footpaths too. Whoever wins the Rugby World Cup, this is the spirit the organisers must have dreamt of when the tournament was born 24 years ago. They dream of victories that may not come with such hope and noise and optimism. What a way to support your team.